This video is based on the project 5 of the 9 to Tetris. We will build a, a, a memory module, CPU, and uh, make them together to, to construct a complete computer. First, uh, we would like to uh, um, read uh, the chapter 5 of the textbook. Here, here is a, a conceptual diagram of the Von Neumann architecture. We have a computer system. Uh, outside, we got an input and output device. Inside the system, there are memories, memories and a CPU. There are two partitions of the memory. Program memory, also known as a read-only memory, ROM, and also the data memory. Let's skip the CPU for now and focus on building the data memory. As you can see, there are 16-bit, uh, 16, 16 uh, kilo words, random access memory, also a, a screen buffer which is mapped to the screen. At the bottom, we got a, a keyboard buffer. Whenever you press a key on the keyboard, the corresponding information is transferred to this buffer. We will start to build this uh, data memory. Also, the, the input-output mapped memory. Here's some, here's some description of the memory module. We can see there, there is a 16-bit input uh, which takes data from a CPU and a load signal. If you uh, pull this high, new data will be loaded to the memory and also the address signal which indicate which location you are loading the data onto. The output port retrieves data from either the RAM random access memory or the input output mapped memory. The memory, uh, the random access memory spans from a zero address to 16, and the, the screen buffer spans uh, 16 to uh, 24 kilo kilowatts, and the the last word is a K keyboard buffer. Let's see how can we implement this. The project file we are going to work with is this memory.hdl. There is a very handy tool called the Visual Studio Code. You can install plugin uh, to it. Uh, to help edit uh, our HDL file by searching a uh, NAND to Tetris.
you can install this uh, plugin. Okay, uh, let's drag this uh, file into the uh, VS Code. Let's first do the design of our memory module. Here we just copy the memory allocation Let's see what is this 0 and this boundary is a 16k Twenty four K plus one. So, how those uh, uh, address is uh, represented? As you can see, the address is a uh, fifteen bit. So, let's write each address bit. Fifteen bits in total. Here is a least significant bit, the bit zero, and at this end is a bit fourteen. So uh, let's try to express the sixteen key uh, boundary in binary number open up a, a windows calculator sixteen times of one zero two four one six three eight four so that's it this number in binary it will be uh, one and then all zeros So what is a uh, twenty four key now? Twenty four times one zero two four. That's a uh, two four five six. Ah, uh, two four five seven six. This is this number. So in binary, it will be represented as this uh, 11 and then or 0.
Okay, that's all three boundaries of the memory partitions. In NAND2 Tetris uh, mm, language, we have those pre-inbuilt uh, function modules. Let's see, how can we build our 16K RAM? Fortunately, there is a RAM16 module here, so we can directly use this without a um, extra implementation so we have this let's put it down there for the screen there is a, also a screen module we can directly use. For the keyboard, the NAND2 Tetris also provide a inbuilt module here. For the 16 kilobyte RAM, which is here, it, uh, it got uh, four ports, in, load, address, and out. So what's the size of, uh, uh, what's the width of the input signal? We can go to, uh, where is that? Go to the NAND2 Tetris uh, uh, installation position and open up uh, tools and uh, in, uh, build in chips and find this uh, 16k RAM dot HDL. RAM 16k dot HDL. Open it up. As we can see, the input is uh, 16 bits. The load is a single bit control signal, which instruct this uh, uh, RAM module to take input and store at a address which is specified uh, by this address signal. The width of the address is 14 bits. At the end, we got uh, the odd signal, which is uh, 16 as well. For the screen function module, we can open up the corresponding HDL file. Yeah, here it is. The screen module uh, is a uh, 256, which is a uh, uh, vertical size. How many lines? And uh, 512, uh, 512 
columns. It is a monochrome, which means uh, only, can only display black and white, black and white pixels. It has a 16-bit input. Also the load signal. Address. 13 bits address. Output. Sixteen bits. You may wondering why a screen as a output device it has a out signal which allows CPU to read uh, read its content out. Because this screen actually isn't a physical screen; it is a memory partition which is uh, mapped to the screen. Uh, it, it has a similar idea as a frame buffer in your actual computer. You can uh, read out uh, uh, its current value and uh, do some uh, updates and write it back. This uh, uh, readout um, Modification and read back can uh, reduce the data amount it requires the required to transfer. For example, you only want to modify uh, a single line on the screen. You can you, what you need to do is read out the corresponding line, and uh, after modification, read overwrite the data line back to the frame buffer. So you don't need to. Uh, put the entire new uh, screen frame one line by line. As a input uh, uh, device, the keyboard don't have a, a in signal. It uh, only have a output uh, port. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's it. 16 bits output. Also, the keyboard uh, doesn't have a load signal. It is uh, always enabled. Go back to our memory module. We need to uh, put those three modules together to make our memory. So the input signal, recall that in the previous uh, uh, video, we use uh, multiple registers to build up uh, uh, RAM chip, which we can uh, commonly connect the input signal to the master input. We do the same trick here. The address is also uh, commonly connected. To enable each individual module, we need to put the load signal separately. What do we uh, need to have is a DMAX. Three modules 
a single two-way DMAX may not work. So we need a, a four-way DMAX, which takes uh, our load signal in. How to split uh, those uh, three load signals? If you look at uh, the boundary we have drawn before, let's focus on this point, the 14th and the 13th bit of the address signal. When it is both zero, which means uh, the address fallen uh, falls inside this RAM partition. When the leading one, the leading bit, the most significant bit is one, the address goes to the screen buffer. And when they are both the, uh, ones, where, which means we are accessing the keyboard buffer. So let's uh, split uh, the 14th and the uh, 13th bit of the address and fit it uh, into our four-way DMAX as a selection. Address 13 dot dot 14. When they are zero, zero, zero or zero, 01, they are both goes to the RAM module. So A and B should, uh, should both go to the uh, RAM module. So we will need to have a, a, a all gate, which means uh, all zero or zero one. Here it goes to uh, to here the load signal of the sixteen kilo words RAM. When the selection is a uh, one zero, which is a C, which is a third part, the load goes to uh, goes to here the screen uh, buffer. So uh, because the keyboard buffer doesn't have a, a load pin, so we leave this uh, blank. To collect the output from those three modules, we will need a, a max sixteen bit max because the uh, output uh, signal uh, all sixteen bits. Similarly, when the selection is uh, zero, 00 or zero 01, they are both go to uh, uh, they are both means uh, selecting the RAM module. It will be A, B, C, D. When the selection is one zero, select the screen. At the, at the end, when the selection is one one, select the keyboard. So this becomes our 16 bit uh, master output. The output DMAX is also uh, controlled by the same selection. The 13th and the 14th bit of the address. So that's, that's it. 
let's name uh, make sure all signals have a have a name let's call this a uh, uh, screen enable or uh, screen screen load oh it's thick Call this signal is the uh, RAM load. And uh, those two uh, sub, uh, sub signals called uh, RAM load A and uh, B. Call the output uh, from the RAM, uh, let's name it as a RAM. M out and similarly screen out. Uh, camel casing? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Camel casing. Uh, keyboard out. And this signal, uh, don't need to name it because it's just a 13th and 14th bit of the, the address signal. Okay, I think uh, that's it. Or uh, that's it, our uh, design. Let's open up the VS Code to uh, implement, implement it. Uh, we will start uh, putting those three key uh, key modules first key modules first we will have a 16 key RAM so let's tap uh, REM and 16 key auto uh ram random yeah ram 16 this plugin will automatically uh, uh, put the calling convention of the of the path so it's very handy below the ram 16 we got a screen Try it again. Yeah, select this one. And then we will have a keyboard mod module. Okay, that's it. Our uh, uh, key modules. Next, uh, we will have uh, this input uh, uh, DIM max. Oh, here it shouldn't be a DIM max, it is a max. Plexer. Mm. 
not it's not a called an input. It's a load. Load Dmax. Dmax for V. That's a e, uh, load Dmax. We will also need a sixteen uh, bit four way max to handle the output signal. Sometimes it uh, may, may not work. Mm. Anyway, let's just uh, copy the uh, column convention from this document. It is uh, available uh, from here. Uh, not this this one. Uh, have chip set. Yeah, that's it. that's it. You can click this link to get access to the to the call calling convention of the hack chip set. Mm, what are we are after? After ring. Ah, max 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 four v sixteen should be this one. Go back to VS Code. Okay, let's put uh, those signals in. The in is a uh, master input, same as uh, that in screen. The load signal is called a uh, uh, RAM load. Uh, screen load the address uh, address is a uh, for the RAM module is a uh, 14 is a 14 Is the lower 14 bits of the address. So it is a address from a 0 dot dot to 13. That's a lower 14 bits. The output will be RAM mod. Uh, camera casing. The output from screen is a screen out. This is this is uh, our load Dmax. It has a uh, input uh, which is our uh, load signal. Selection is a uh, thirteen to fourteen bit of the address. Output A is a RAM load A. B is RAM RAM load B. C is a screen load. D uh, left blank, so we can just delete this port to omit it. Output D max A, both A and B are RAM out. Port C is a screen out. Port D uh, is keyboard out. 
versus out. We haven't uh, put uh, the uh, keyboard out signal. Keyboard out. Copy it uh, over there. The selection is same to to the loaded marks. So just uh, copy this part. Address 13 bit to 14 bit. The output uh, of the, uh, the max is our master output. Okay, I think that's it. Let's try it out in in the hardware simulator. Just load the test uh, script for for the memory, and uh, put the speed to to the fastest to save time. Okay, it will um, why it doesn't work. It should automatically load this memory.hdl. Let's load it uh, manually. Okay, there's some error uh, preventing the HDL to be uh, loaded. A P name, uh, uh, a pin name is uh, expected. Uh, LAN 34. LAN 34 pin name is uh, expected. Uh, screen C R E N E N E N. Load uh, screen load uh, address. Yeah. I forgot to put the address. Hmm. Mm, let's see, screen is a lower thirteen bits of the of the address signal. Lower thir uh, lower thirteen. It means from zero to twelve. It should uh, work now. Hmm, LAN 43, RAM load has no source pin. Oh, 43, uh, RAM load, yes. RAM, oh yeah. What I need to have is a uh, OR gate, A or B, both, both driving the RAM chip. OR gate. A is RAM load A, RAM load B, and the RAM load. Let's try it uh, this time. Okay, it has been successfully loaded. Put this uh, test uh, script and I run it. Uh, looks good, but here's uh, some further instruction. Click the keyboard icon and hold down the key, key, uppercase, until you see the next message. It should appear shortly after that. Uh, where's the keyboard icon? It, it is uh, in, if we switch the wave to screen mode, and here's a uh, keyboard icon. Click it and hold the key. Oh, switch the input method to English. Hold the key. Okay, the execution continues. Uh, a further instruction. Make sure you see only two horizontal lines in the middle of the screen. Hold down Y uppercase and you will see the next message. Two horizontal lines. Yeah, two horizontal lines. Here's uh, our screen. The hack computer screen. Yes, let's uh, hold uh, Y. Oh, I need to click this uh, keyboard icon so it can uh, take input from my physical computer's keyboard. Yeah, uh, it uh, this uh, information suggests my implementation of the RAM module, and also 
the uh, memory map, the input output, uh, has been successfully accomplished. Yeah, thank you. That's uh, my today's video.